Hello guys and be welcome to the channel. Um, I'm Nuno, aka Plastic Alchemist on the interweb, and uh, today I decided to bring a different format for the videos. So we start with a face cam, and then we go to the inbox reveal. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Uh, if you think it's a good idea, bad idea. Um, if you like to see more videos like this with face cam first and then the inbox review or not. But um, yeah, today we're going to be reviewing the Gloucester C Gladiator MK2 in one thirty second scale from ICM with Royal Navy, Royal Navy Pilots. This kit was kindly provided to me by uh, Alex from Model Man's Moments. Um, Alex has an online shop and uh, knowing that my circumstances had changed in life he decided to gift me this um this model so alex is a very very nice person um if you have any modeling needs please feel free to contact him i'm gonna leave the, li the link on the description for his shop and um he's coming up with his new uh his own range of lacquer thinners compatible with the Mr. Hobby leveling thinner so I've been trying it and been working a treat and with uh, the lack of Mr. Hobby thinner I think it's a good solution for us guys um, not to be waiting so much for, for that so we're gonna review this kit and um, then we get to the conclusions I'll see you guys in a second <laughs> So here we go guys, this as I said, Gloucester Sea Gladiator MK2 with Royal Navy Pilots from ICM. It's 132nd scale, kit number is 32045. Um, in here you have several information. It will have 262mm uh, of length, 307mm wingspan, 140 parts to assemble. This will be a fairly large beast and um, we need to see how it goes. So we have the box in a box style uh, from ICM. On it, I'm sorry, guys. So here we go. We have the box open. Open it, and we have. One bag, two bags, one manual, two manuals. So let's move the box aside. As I said, guys, we are opening this together. I'm going through this with you guys. And uh, yeah, first time I'm opening, first time I'm seeing it. So as you can see, a fairly big boy, fairly, fairly big boy. Um, started with the wings, they're fairly, fairly well molded. Um, you have the cresses on here, which I assume on the time would be fabric the wings for this model, and it gives you a nice, nice crest for the wing. In here, we have the rest of the the tail parts and the engine cowlings I'm assuming so yeah no flash as you guys can see which is really good we move into the engine it's not overly done engine although I might regret what I'm saying because you have the things here here and here so once fully assembled it will look apart, I'm hoping. You have the... Um, I don't know the name. Let me know in the comments the name of this. I think this is the structs for the, um, for the wings, if I'm not wrong. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, we have the propeller here, which nicely molded, as you guys can see. Um, plenty of details on there. 
it's it's really good really 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 good i love it second part of the wings so now we have the bottom of the wings which have the the struct and this is should be the, the bottom for the for the landing gear wheels very well molded they are done in two parts as you guys can see um you have two parts for the for the wheels and yeah all, all in all you have the control panel here and here nicely molded as well so yeah all in all very good quality fuselage yeah doesn't disappoint it's it's strange that this is the fuselage strange that you have the fuselage that is about this big and then you have the wings that are about a little bit longer so um yeah but nice details again these tiny rivets here panel lines are not too deep are not too shallow so i think they are on the right amount um no flash whatsoever but this is a brand new kit so would be disappointing if there was any any flash more parts here again probably from the struct probably this will be the bottom of the airplane as well more control pa panels the nose cone as well so yeah plenty plenty of stuff clear parts let's have a look quickly on what is inside if i can open the bag let's see where's the bag where's the opening what the heck have they sealed this bar oh there you go oops i was being a bit of an empty let's have a look so clear parts ice clear as you can see i can spot any scratches i can spot anything wrong with them they are very very well molded happy with that then we have the pilots as you guys can see there's a little bit of flash here and here but nothing that we can't fix you have the heads torso legs arms this one is holding a map or a book something like that parachutes it it will give you a, a nice scene it will give you a nice setting you have um a brush something like that or like a bag something little bag little bag maybe but you have the parachute here that's definitely the parachute with this one so yeah it's very very well thought very well thought the quality of the injection not as good as the as the plane itself but nevertheless works now we have the manuals so one of the manuals is for the pilot pilot captain and ground crew well, i think that should be a brush the things we saw a paint brush and a, a kind of paint here we have the call outs for the icm colors um, ICM have their own uh, paint range so in here we have their own 
range of colors. And then we go with the manual. Manual wise, you have now here the the color shout out for Revel, Tamia, um, and um, not just Revel and Tamia. I thought that would be the the ACM as well, but no, ICM paints are on there. Here is Revel and Tamia, which is good. I like that. Uh, we have the decals inside as well. We have a look in a second as well. So now you, in here you have all the, the sprues, the parts that you don't need for the version that we're building, or for the versions that we can possibly build. Build looks not complicated, fairly simple. We have the cockpit area here that touches there. Close the fuselage. Add the stabilizers, canopy, wings, wings, the struts, the wheels. The engine is one of the last parts, and yeah, as we as I said, you have all these parts to make the engine, so which is really good. And more stuff here for the engine as well. Then you have the option of two blade propeller, three blade propeller, as you wish. That's a, a fairly good thing. Um, the rigging schematic, I quite like this. This is really good, which tells you where you should put the rigging across the, um, the plane. And then you have the version. You have version one with a Two blade propeller, I believe. No, you have no each one is, each one of these is one version. So you have one, two, three, three versions that you can build. Um they will be the Glossy Sea Gladiator MK2 number 804 Squadron RNS Adston Orkney Islands October 1940. You have the 804 Squadron, HMS Furious, May 1940, and number 813 Squadron, HMS Eagle, Summer 1940. So there you go, guys. It's fairly, fairly comprehensive manual, so fairly to follow instructions, which is good. Uh, Decals-wise, ICM does their own decals. They seem a little bit... I don't know, prominent. You can feel them, but at the same time, it's not a nice, smooth piece of paper. But yeah, you have the, um, the dials, which I like these ones. You have the dials with the transparent background. So that allows you to place better the dials on the, um, on the control panel, which is absolutely great so there's not a huge amount of decals to do so it's all good so yeah guys and um with this we come to the end of the of the box uh we'll be building this soon don't forget men's model moments link will be on the description uh if you guys like what you see please drop me a comment if you didn't please drop me a comment regardless saying why haven't you liked it because only that way i can improve my content so thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye for now.